September 11, 1992, a star was born. At the age of 24, it's become Zambia's fastest rising star. He's hip hop priority and his name is Jedi. This is Answer It on All the Magazine. I'm your host, Isholi Mukadi. Hi, Jedi. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. You're girl. looking really, 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 really fine. Thank you so much. You look fine. So, what do you have on? I can see a fashionista. Yeah. Um, this is um, Pablo jacket by okay. Kanye West. Uh huh. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. All right. <laughs> funny pack. I always got a funny pack because I got mm -hmm. the sauce in the bag. All right. Hot sauce. I guess you're rocking some. Uh yeah, Balenciaga is also on my feet, you know. Uh huh. So yeah, I'm, I'm dripping sauce right now. Okay. <laughs> Is that kind of guy who's into fashion that much? I'm, I'm, I might be more into fashion than me. Oh. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love fashion. I love clothes. All right. So thank you so much for joining us on Answer It. And it's actually great to have you here. Thank you for having me. All right. So we're going to go straight into it. Yeah. Tell us who is Jedi. 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 I'm the lyrical master, you know, one half of the kicks, which is the group I'm in. And, you know, uh, I'm just... Uh, an all out, you know, mm -hmm. nice guy, I guess. You're an all out nice guy <laughs> and a rapper too. And a rapper a dope too. One at that. I'm a great rapper. I'm great. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the dream, when did it actually start? Uh, the dream, mm -hmm. I think it started in 2010. Yeah, when we started small time, we were just in the bedroom playing with music stuff, and uh, okay. it just got real when you know we hit the radios and the TV screens and whatnot. We got discovered by a producer called PZ Cables, and that was the start of the whole thing. Right. So uh, a lot of like like battle rap music, um, Papoose, that the uh, mm -hmm. Crisis, Exa was rapping at the time when I started. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. The whole Diamond Chain inspired me also mm -hmm. to get to. Should we drop a lyric from any of the Diamond Chain songs? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna put you in the spotlight. Exa, Exa, um. Yes, that was random, but okay. Yes. It was one of those days now much to do. Uh -huh. I was just in the crib chilling in my room. Yo, it's a break of dawn. I'm up in the morning. Yawning. Pick up the phone. Guess who I'm calling? That was exile. That was exile. Like day. seriously. Yeah. Exile. Please get back into rapping like seriously. <laughs> oh, wow, that was dope, eh? Yeah. He uh -huh. probably like will be shook when he sees this. But, yeah. <laughs> I heard uh -huh. that song and I was like, yo, I wanna do that too. Uh -huh. Then that was the beginning, the beginning mm -hmm. of the everything. <laughs> so how has it been so far? You know, being in an industry that is very, very um, competitive, I would say. So what has been like the highlight so far? The highlights mm -hmm. is is uh, me to get into where I'm at now. Like mm -hmm. I'm able to work with whoever I would mm -hmm. want to. Uh, mostly, I, I would like to work with like foreign artists to just get the brand out there. But mm -hmm. uh, it's been great. Uh, knowing fellow artists from mm -hmm. Zambia mm -hmm. are supportive of the movement and all mm -hmm. that. Um, it's just been great, you know. Like last year and this year have been mm -hmm. like my breakout years. So okay. I say this year because to me mm -hmm. it's already planned out and all that. So we're just out here doing the most, you know. So we're talking about who you uh, do actually do a song with. If you could choose um, an. Um a rapper here in Zambia or just an artist here in Zambia and someone from um, you know overseas who would it be and what would be the name of the song wow the name also yeah um, <laughs> who would you choose two people one two local people. one international yeah uh, in Zambia I would like to work with Exile okay. I haven't worked with Exile yet uh, and would call the song grown because <laughs> I'm grown now and so <laughs> it's you Exile and who else and uh, who else? Who else could I want to work with? Mm -hmm. um, who else? Uh, Where is he? That would be no, dope. No, uh, I want someone from here, local, and the, one from the yes, international. Yes, Wesley is on here. one song. On one song. Yes. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Kanye West. All right. So why yes. that? Because um, musically. Mm -hmm. Those guys are like iconic, like mm -hmm. the music they make is timeless mm -hmm. and I, I want to make that type of music, mm -hmm. I do make that type of music. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like if you, if you fuse that, mm -hmm. that would be the greatest thing, it would be music gold. And the name forever. of the song? Uh, I don't know, 
<laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I'm like, seriously, I want to find out. Do you know the song? I don't know. It will be called I Don't Know? Uh, be, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> See, you just you came see? up with the title. I think you're an artist. I'm good like that. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, you know you've been in the industry for, for some time now, right? Yeah. And um, we're going to look at um, how you came up and uh, what are some of the things that you actually went through for you to be where you are right now. How I came up? How I came up, it was hard in my time. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I said a lot of people that I started with are mm -hmm. not into music that much mm -hmm. or they're not doing music. Mm -hmm. It's because it's hard. Mm -hmm. The industry just breaks you to like, be like, oh mm -hmm. no. I'm done for, mm -hmm. but um, the come up is always crazy everywhere musically, mm -hmm. I think. But here it's extra hard. Mm -hmm. So I just work towards what I was working to. Mm -hmm. Then you know I'm getting to where I need to be. Um, I I think it's the people I surround myself with. All right. Those are like, they're like deep oins, if I may say it in that slang. They're like, mm -hmm. they're about their grind. They get theirs. They go getters, mm -hmm. and. The squad is just too strong for me to like quit on them or them to quit on me. So okay. when you have like uh, a, a team like that and driving yourselves, mm -hmm. it, it's going somewhere. So right. you just need a strong team and you're good. Yeah. So mm. what's the dream, Jedi? The dream. What do you want to put out there? What do you want people to know you for? Uh, it's funny you should ask because we're doing um, a genre mm -hmm. called Trapundula. Trapundula? Yeah. What's that? It's trap mixed with Kalindula. Okay. So That what, is your thing now? Yeah, yeah. Me and my boys we're okay. doing this we're doing this thing called Trapundula. Yes. So we mix with trap with Kalindula samples, the old music. Uh -huh. Just to just to get it out there. To yes. to have people get a feel of our culture mm -hmm. with like a bit of foreign. Like you said, mm -hmm. I put Kanye and Exile together. Yes. That type mm -hmm. thing. So I want to give the world the Zambian experience. Okay, which is? Which is, um, musically, I want, I want us to be like on the world map. Mm -hmm. Like we're on a map, but on, a, on like half someone mm -hmm. in America say, yo, that's, guy, that's a guy from Zambia who mm -hmm. did the most. I want to be that guy. All right. Yes. So apart from, you know, music, what else do you do? Music, music. I just do music. I, I figured like if you if you do something on the side mm -hmm. of what you what you of your passion, mm -hmm. then that's not your passion. Mm -hmm. If you put if you do music on the side, you have side hustles, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's to push the music also. Mm -hmm. So if you do something on the side, um, mm -hmm. uh, that would be. The focus is not there. Yeah. That's like probably music is your backup plan. Mm -hmm. But what I want to do, mm -hmm. one of my New Year's resolution is go to school for business studies so I can study yeah. and just know the business side of it. Yeah. So and get into the music yeah. business. So yeah, we're going into the business and the mm -hmm. music. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing this year. Like mm -hmm. we gotta do the most. So I wanna learn the business side and the music side. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna get into school mm -hmm. this year and just go learn the business. There's a saying that says um, hip hop is dead. What do you have to say about that? Hip -hop Since you're you coming up and you're also in, in, in the industry as well, and people say hip hop is dead, what do you have to say about that? I don't, I don't think hip hop is dead. Uh -huh. um, uh, it's not dead, it's dying, but no. like It's dying, but how come? Like, are you saying that the ones that are coming are already dead people? <laughs> Zombies no, or something? No, like we have Last of a Dying Breed and we can revive mm -hmm. it. And I say we because I rap. I yes. really rap. Mm -hmm. I know people who say they're hip hop artists and they don't rap. Mm -hmm. And I know artists who are rappers and they rap. I rap. You can put me on an Afrobeat song, I rap. Mm -hmm. Which is me standing my ground. People mm -hmm. feel like, oh, when you do hip hop, oh, they won't support enough. If you don't stand for something, you fall for anything, mm -hmm. though. So what I stand for is hip hop. And I'm yeah. like, do what I do. And I love it. All right, so let's get back to your name. What's Jedi. the story about Jedi? Jedi, I'm a um, Star Wars fan. I was at the time when we were young. Okay. Yeah, and people used to call but me... But you're still young. Uh, I'm young. I was younger. When I was younger. Okay. That's a term? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. When I was younger, I, I was called Jedi. I was called Skywalker. 
then when I I am so starting, that's from like um, Star Wars also. Okay. So when I'm studying a song, I wish you knew what you're talking about though. <laughs> yes, I'm a nerd. Uh huh. Half nerd, half cool kid. All right. But anyway, I was I was called Skywalker, and when studying a song, I'll say it's the Jedi. Then one of my friends was like, "Oh, that's cool. You should name yourself that instead." Mm-hmm. Then there's no deep definition like no i jedi because a lot of people are like oh you call it jedi because your eyes are red i'm like no oh like jedi oh no 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 it's, it. it's not that <laughs> it's not, not that. that you too no it's not that <laughs> almost got me there <laughs> yes. all right so uh, let me just do something fun with you right now so i want to find out who would you rather all right so between jay-z or kanye yeah that's a tap one <laughs> Can I like, can I justify it? You can, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, but j- choose one person, then justify it. I can only, okay, Kanye. Uh-huh. Uh, because uh, he's my inspiration and, you know, he came, he came, he came off of like Jay-Z. Jay-Z was the come up of Kanye, but I uh-huh. like Kanye. So, okay. yeah. Uh, Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Yes, that's <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Why? Because Nicki has proven her 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 position in the game, and she's mm-hmm. been here. She's been doing the most before even Cardi B was here. I, I'm sure Cardi B is a descendant of Nicki, so I wouldn't do that to Nicki. I'm a fan. Okay. Yes. Cleo or Bombshell? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when uh-huh. is this airing so that I know? <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Uh, ice. that's a tough one. Bombshell. Bombshell, why? Because it's bombshell, yo. She's hot like that. She's hot. But Cleo's hot and too. Cleo's so what are you trying taken. to say? I don't want to be on TV and saying, yo, Cleo, and people come at me. I uh-huh. think bombshell for me. For you, bombshell? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I want to know, what's like your greatest fan moment? My greatest fan moment? Mm-hmm. Um, How are you able to end a group, is it, by the way, as well? What? How you able to handle groupies? Groupies? Yeah. Are you getting any of those? I don't think I'm getting any groupies. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> I am getting some, but I don't... How do I handle it? Like, I, I just... It's a thing. Like, it comes with the territory. You got to be ready. I'm just... Uh-huh. I take it as fans. They, I don't That's call right. people groupies. Uh-huh. They're fans. So your greatest fan moment? My greatest fan moment is when this man came up to me like, yo... Okay. What was that? Uh, I had a show uh-huh. uh, October 1st, one of the October last years. Yes. A uh, big man came to me, um, was like, Yo, my wife mm-hmm. is your big fan. My your wife? Song, <laughs> your song. I your should have people's wives now. <laughs> your song is a mm-hmm. ringtone. Okay. So she'll be psyched if you took a selfie with me and I send her the picture. To me, I'm like, Yo. <laughs> Seriously. This is crazy. This is I was crazy. like, yo, uh-huh. I'm the fan now. But that was mm-hmm. crazy. And I've had enough crazy moments of that. Like, mm-hmm. some I can't say, but yeah, it's been crazy. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear mm-hmm. is losing my mom. Okay. Deep? That's too deep. Like, well, <laughs> you asked you me. You touched me. My mom is everything. Uh-huh. My mom is everything. So if I lose her, I don't know. All right. Um, my fans, I love you guys. Without my fans, I wouldn't even be here. They put me on so much. Like, that. my fans are crazy, and I love that. They're mm-hmm. crazy for me, and everything I do, I'm inspired by mm-hmm. what they do. Like, right. if my fan, because I did the, the song, The Last Jedi, mm-hmm. re- requested by mm-hmm. a fan. Yes. That's how much these guys like, play, play a big role in my career. Yeah. If they could ask for something right now, and mm-hmm. I give it in return. Talking about that song, it's actually making so much airwaves, like everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I want to find out from you exactly how did that song come about. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, The Last Jedi, uh, mm-hmm. I had um, a fan tweet at me and say, yo, uh, since the movie is coming out tomorrow, because the movie was coming out the day mm-hmm. before I did it, uh, they're like, yo, do a song if you can. And mm-hmm. I love the challenge. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, this, this thrill is crazy. Let, let's do it. Mm-hmm. I went to reveal the studio, I got a beat from mm-hmm. Easy, then we just made the song and mm-hmm. it was out the next day. Right. And we did the video like the week mm-hmm. after. Okay. So if we want to get in touch with you, how can they get out of you? 
Uh, my Twitter mm -hmm. is it's the Jedi one word. My Instagram is it's the underscore Jedi. Mm -hmm. My Facebook is it's the it's simple. It's the Jedi everything. If you type in it's the Jedi, I come up, pop, I pop up. Just like that. So you can't be on the issue and claim you're a rapper. All right, I'm yeah. gonna put you on the spot. Mm, you maybe are? I can, I can, like you I can do already. something as well. I like, can do something as well. Maybe you know, challenge you. Uh, yeah, like I like this. I like where <laughs> this is going. Are we going to battle? <laughs> Let me try. Can I yeah, try? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm like, uh, uh, I am uh, leading these girls uh, like Moses did. Yeah. And this mic in my hand is the Moses stick. Yeah. The promised land is found in the flows of spit. And when I spit, I give them mental bliss. Zesco, when I power kati. I don't slap a girl, ni muchaya apa kati. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I got you. Oh, the whole time. <laughs> now I feel intimidated. Why? Why did you do this to no, me? Seriously, I, I want know it. You're uh -huh. a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm just trying. You're just trying. Yeah. Or oh, you get scared. You I'm scared, uh -huh. girl. I'm scared. I'm scared. That was good. Thank you. That was good. You're a rapper, and <laughs> you're making me blush. In the life God. before, you were a rapper. Or? <laughs> I like that. That's mm -hmm. dope. Thank you. That's dope. Uh huh. So yeah. Yeah. It's my turn. It's your turn. Okay. For the longest time, I've been waiting on the sideline. My flow's too deep and nothing like mine. Instead of punchlines, I give them lifelines. I give them food for thought till last a lifetime. It's my time, I swear this is my time, yeah. So you better cuff your chick like you fight crime, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not playing. I was at the bottom, then I told him that I'm not staying. Uh, making of a legend feel, yeah. I'm with the legend, so you know it's real, yeah. It is what it is, girl. Yeah, I told them, listen to the kids, girl. Yeah, uh, on a camufana. Look, they try to block the shine. Kana kana. On a camufana, they put the city on the map. I fuck up on Musana. <laughs> Yo, that's, man. That's my, that's, that's my level. That's really, my part. That's <laughs> really, really, really nice. Yeah, thank you so much. Good stuff. Good we stuff. should make a group. <laughs> We should, eh? So holla at me. Yeah. You all heard? <laughs> all right? Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. This has been it's, great. It's been I discovered great a well. rapper today. Yes. yes. You should sign me as well. I'm signing. I'm signing. <laughs> My new artist, you guys. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for actually joining us today. And uh, it's been answered on Ozotona Magazine. And it's been me, your girl, Jolie. All right. And, of, of course, with my guy right here, Jedi. All right, so till next time, stay blessed. And remember, stay fabulous. Check out the fire flame emojis. The plug just hit me with a check right now. Yeah, yeah. Look at a boy dripping sauce.